What's good, guys? What's up, everybody? Yo. Yo, is it filming? Yo, I'm kind of asking right now. Cut, <laughs> cut. Yo, I'm kind of asking right now, still. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Emmanuel right here. You know what I mean? I'm the UASA technical director. And uh, it's a fantastic afternoon to ask people questions. That's right. I'm going to be going to SLC, asking people around what they think about certain issues uh, pertaining to you know, African culture or growing up under an uh, African household. So come with me, everybody. One hundred percent. That's auntie uncle vibe. Done. That's it. Um, I disagree. But That's it. No matter what. Wait. What if they tell? Hold on. Hold on. What if they tell you? What if? What if they tell you something? What if they tell you like what to study or like you know? They tell you okay, don't don't go out with this person or that person. Like, where do you draw the line between agreeing completely with what they say and disagreeing? Where do you? Like I said, that's auntie uncle vibes. 100%. What happens in your house stays in your house. None of my business or concern. Mm. You disagree? <laughs> Why? Because sometimes your elders are like, they're strict in their ways and they're not willing to change. And I feel like sometimes you have to make your own decisions mm -hmm. and like your own understandings of the world. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, like sometimes like elders don't really, they don't get it. I don't think our elders are always right because a lot of them are stuck in their, I don't want to say, they're stuck in their old ways. For example, the LGBT community, they believe that it's wrong. They were always brought up to think it's wrong, but I feel like uh, at the end of the day, we're humans, and we should learn to respect each other's identity. Okay, that being said, though, do you would you be okay if your kids had that mindset? Of like, you know what, she's old, I don't have to listen. I'm not saying that's what you said, but, yeah. you know, that mindset, what do you think? I think that's okay. As like, for... For me, I know if, if I were to have kids, I would want them to make their own decisions. Because, like, my parents did that with me. They never really tried to steer me into any way of thinking. They were just kind of like, this is what I believe. You make up your own decisions. Agree. Agree? So you're definitely being your kids? For sure, 100%. No. No? So does that mean you wouldn't beat your kids? Not even. I don't, I, I don't know. Not even like, a little. It's like yes. When I say yes, don't you want to do this? And I say yes. So. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, okay. Like, no, I don't get it actually. Yeah. yeah, I agree. You agree? So that means you would beat your kids. Yeah. You definitely beat them. All right. I mean, like, hopefully I won't have to discipline my kids, but like, if it comes to last resort, then yeah. I think I'll probably. End up. But you would. Okay, so you don't know if you would beat your kids. Probably not. Though. You think that's what does the job? That's what gets the job done? I went through it, and I'm in university now, so, I mean, got me somewhere. Agree. Agree? And why, why is that? Because, like, you just get put into a box. As soon as people see that you're black, they're like, oh, black person. Mm. And they already have their preconceptions about what black people are, how they act, how they dress, how they talk, da 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 So, I think, like, especially depending on the kind audience like you kind of have to groom yourself or um yeah just groom yourself to make sure that you fit 